Well, look at that. There it is, folks. The tablet modification in its simplest form. Unfortunately, I do not have a tripod set up. I'm going to show you this. If you saw the other video, you know about the uh, Velcro fasteners. What I did here was got a new cell phone. <laughs> Anyways, yes, I upgraded to a, uh, if you really want to know, a G7, S7, yeah, Galaxy S7, whatever. I love the phone. And the, the display, actually, I, I'm, I'm really happy to say that I can fly with that phone because the display is so much more brilliant and the resolution is so much better and brighter and I can actually pretty much fly with that phone. So my S3 is gone. I took the case, reinforced it with some Gorilla Tape, and then I took another piece of wood right here and very sloppily cut it without a saw and uh, took some epoxy, super strong stuff, and uh, just glued it in there to reinforce this thing so it doesn't wiggle waggle. Then I just put it on there and uh, boom, boom, boom. And let's check out what happens. Check out the results. Zero nutters! I don't know if you can see this, but this is the full tablet mod in effect. Hopefully you can see that right there. We are going to start it up and launch right now. It's really windy, so I'm just going to take it just a little ways out come back because I don't want to get caught up in this wind. Here we got a Tab 4, 8.5 inch, and the mod has worked beautiful. If you can see that, I'll show you later inside how this all worked out. But uh, here we go. And... Hopefully you can see that. So there we got a nice hover. Bring it out a little ways. And hopefully you can see what's going on there. I'm getting a little resistance on the wind. But uh, this is working beautiful. What a display. A little blurry, not the clearest thing in the world. But man, I can see where I'm going. So, that wind is really strong. Whoa. Once again, if you just, hopefully that camera's catching that. We got an 8.4 inch display, it ain't going nowhere. You can see I actually have it tilted. Almost 180, it started to fall there a little bit. So we're gonna bring this bad boy back and give me a nice little auto landing on the patio. Fucked up. That was scary. That was scary. Just cut. That was good. Okay. No harm, no foul. I lost directional. That's not good. Fuck, I'll just change my fucking propellers. I'm also going to comment on at the end of the video. I was really close to the house and in a cramped space trying to land and to be very honest uh, the control started to flip out a little bit and uh, I kind of got really you know had to just tell myself calm down calm down because I was looking for a place to land and perhaps when it gets up next to the house or something when you're around a lot of cement maybe things start to bounce around but that's the, only the second time that's happened and I don't know why. Um, but it kind of freaked me out. 